and it and just quietly shipped one of the most powerful features that I have seen in any automation platform this year. And if you are running an AI business, managing client projects, or just building automations for yourself, this is going to fundamentally change how you work every single day. Because here's the thing. I used to have Claude open in one tab, ChatGPT in another, my N8 and workflows in a third tab, and I was constantly bouncing between all of them. But now, everything lives in one place. And I mean everything. Every AI model, every workflow, every agent I have built, all accessible from a single chat interface. So let me show you exactly what this looks like and why it matters. But before we dive in, let me just paint a picture of the problem this solves. So if you are anything like me, your daily workflow probably looks something like this, where you're working on a client deliverable, so you have Claude open or Gemini open to help you draft something. Then you need to do some research, so you switch tabs to maybe ChatGPT or Perplexity with web browsing. And then from there, you remember that you have a workflow that does exactly what you need, so you open N8N. And then you are testing a prompt across different models to see which one actually performs better. Five tabs, constant context switching, and every single time that you switch, you obviously lose momentum, you're losing time. And studies show that it takes about 23 minutes to fully regain focus after a context switch. So if you are switching 10 times a day, just do the math on how much productive time that you are actually bleeding. And what N8N just released is their chat hub. And on the surface, it looks like just another chat GPT or custom GPT, but that's not what this is. This is a unified command center that lets you talk to any model and trigger your custom workflows and invoke your agents all without leaving a single interface. And that's what we're going to be breaking down today. All right, so let's actually take a look at this thing. So when you update to the latest version of N8N, you will see this little chat button right here called chat beta. You'll be able to open it up and you're in the chat hub. So if you aren't already, make sure to update N8N in your settings. So if you go to settings, or actually we would have to back up a little bit, go to the homepage, go to our cloud right here, the admin panel, and then inside of the admin panel, we just have to go to manage, make sure to change yourself to the latest version, and you'll be able to find this little widget that we just pulled up in the chat hub, similarly to what I just showed you. Now, right away, you'll notice that it looks pretty familiar. So we have the conversation history all on this left-hand side, the chat interface in the center, obviously. But here's where it actually gets a little bit interesting is at the top, you can actually switch between any model that you have credentials for. So I am talking about OpenAI, as you can see, Anthropic, Google's Gemini, even open source models through OpenRouter, or just your own local models through Olama if you have that connected. So if you want to ask Claude something, switch to Claude, obviously, or if you want to test how Gemini handles a prompt, just switch right over. Super simple. And here's what is crazy about this is the conversation context. It carries over. So I can start a conversation with Claude and then if I wanted to next, I can then switch to OpenAI and say, what do you think about what Claude just said? And it can see the entire thread. And that alone, it's pretty wild for testing prompts across models, but that's table stakes. So this is where you can invoke any N8N -N workflow that has a chat trigger. And when I say any workflow, I mean your research agents, your content generators, your data processors, literally any agent that you have built can be summoned with just one click. So let me just go ahead and show you guys a real workflow that I use constantly. This is going to be my competitive research agent. Now, this is something that I invoke almost daily when I am on sales calls or just prepping for prospect meetings. Now, here is the exact scenario. So you're on a call with a prospect and they mention, yeah, we're also talking to Acme Automation. Right then and there, we need Intel very fast. So what do they offer? What do they charge? What are their weaknesses? What should you say to position against them? Now this agent, it handles all of that. It's actually a really clean setup. So obviously I just have an AI agent. So we have GPT 4.1 as the brain. Then this is just configured with a detailed system prompt for any competitive research. We also have SERP API as a tool. So just any ends built in Google search tool, more or less. And the agent, it can just search the web for company information, pricing pages. It can look at the reviews, news, whatever it needs to build a competitive brief. And that's it. Two nodes plus the chat trigger. It's very simple, but it's also very powerful and has led to literally tens and thousands of dollars in deals closed. So once everything actually finishes up and we get our output, it's just going to basically structure everything into a brief with the company overview, the services offer, the pricing intelligence, 
the social proof and case studies that we need, any weaknesses and complaints and recommended talking points for our sales call. Now, imagine being able to invoke this mid-conversation. So we could go inside of the chat hub talking to Claude about a proposal and the prospect mentions a competitor. Well, we can easily just switch to our competitor or competitive research agent. We can grab the intel and you know, you're back all without leaving the interface. So let me show you really quick how to set this up for yourself. So as you guys can see, we are obviously inside of our workflow. Hypothetically, this is the one that we want to integrate with being able to use inside of our chat hub. So assuming that you have your workflow, you know, you've identified which one you want to be using and integrate with. It is as simple as making sure that you just click publish. We're going to just call it whatever version name, nothing too specific. We're going to dump show again. And now we are going to go into our chat hub, go to our workflow agents. And now you guys can see we have our competitive research agent V2. All right. Now that we are in a brand new chat inside of the hub, what I am going to type out is research Zapier. I need to know their AI automation offerings, pricing, and any negative reviews and how we should position against them. I'm going to be using, let's uh, switch off of Opus. Definitely do not want to waste any tokens on that. We're going to use Sonnet 4.5, and we are also going to connect our competitive research agent V2. So now, as you guys obviously saw me just publish that workflow, it is now appearing inside of this chat hub. So let's go ahead and select that, and we are going to run this and see what it comes up with. Okay, cool. So that just finished up. You can see company overview, obviously, company name and website, Zapier.com, what they do, their headquarters, and the location services offer let's see if they have pricing intelligence they have the free starter professional tier the social proof weaknesses and complaints competitive positioning and of course down at the bottom we have our sources now this is nothing revolutionary ChatGPT. if we were to go on their website it would be able to do something similar to this but the great thing about this is we are able to connect our workflows we're able to use any different model that we would like and in this particular instance, you know, it's not the best use case of what I'm showing off, but we do have a pretty extensive prompt within this agent that we are offering. So we are tailoring our answer or what we want our answer to be just from this prompt that we are giving it inside of this AI agent. So you can think of many different use cases where this is going to be pretty powerful, where you can use all of your workflows that you have built out yourself. So not something that is pretty limited in scope, as to this agent, you're probably going to want to be using it for more complex things. Now, one more thing I do want to show you is this tool section that we have right here. So I'm going to select, let's go to Anthropic, we'll do Sonnet 4.5. Now within here, N8N has integrated with Gina AI, which just gives you web search and URL reading capabilities. So even when you're just chatting with a base model, not just using a custom agent, you can still do live web searches, which, you know, it's pretty much standard across any AI tool or LLM nowadays. In any case, this means that you can be in a conversation with Claude. You can ask it something that requires current information, and you can actually go and search the web. So no switching to a browser or perplexity, no copy pasting. To set this up, you just go to Gina.ai. You go ahead and make a free account, grab your API key. They give you a million tokens free to start and add that credential inside of any then. And then in the chat hub, you'll see the toggle to enable web search and URL tools. So now your baseline chat experience already has superpowers. And now when you need more specialized capabilities, you just switch to one of your custom agents. So overall, this is honestly super easy to set up as I just showed you guys how to do this all in maybe five minutes. But let me go ahead and just zoom out for a second and talk about why this matters beyond just being convenient. So if you are building an AI business, whether you are an agency, freelancer, or just running internal operations, your competitive advantage is shrinking every day. The tools, they're getting democratized. They're getting easier. The models, they're getting smarter. Everyone can build a basic chatbot now. Now, what separates the pros from the amateurs is operational efficiency. So it's the speed at which you can deliver value. It's the number of clients that you can serve without burning out. And features just like this, they are compounding advantages. So every minute that I save on context switching, is a minute that I can spend on high value work. And every workflow I can invoke without opening a new tab, it's friction removed from my day. I know that it sounds pretty small, like cool, I now I don't have to switch tabs, but multiply that by 20 times a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year, you're talking about hundreds of hours of reclaimed focus time. 
And that's the difference between serving 10 clients and servicing 15 clients. That's also the difference between burning out and building sustainability. Now, again, it's a pretty small piece, but it's just one amongst many where this is going to benefit you greatly. But in any case, that is the N8N chat hub and all of its features. If you want the competitive research agent that I was showing off, it's just three nodes, super clean setup, plus a bunch of other templates. I'm sharing them all inside of our AI accelerator. Link is down below in the description, completely free again. We've got over 16,000 people in there building AI businesses together, sharing resources. We have weekly competitions. We have weekly calls. And if you are looking for something that's going to be a little bit more hands-on, then check out our paid in our circle. And we are a bit selective about who we actually work with. So we're only taking on a handful of people at a time because we do not know you. We do not know if you have the capabilities to actually build and start your own business. So we are very selective within our process and pretty tedious within that. But if you are interested in that, go ahead and check it out. Link's going to be down below in the description. But with that being said, you do not need that to achieve success within your own business. You can do this yourself just with the free resources that are out there. My channel, especially, of course, I'm going to plug myself, but I dropped so many different videos giving out value for completely free. So make sure to check that out as well. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you appreciated this, if you're going to be using this yourself, or if you're going to be stuck in your ways using custom GPTs or whatever else your process was looking like. Interested to hear. But I'll see you guys in the next video.